The Red Planet. Mars, a world that has fascinated humanity for centuries. Just the name conjures images of a desolate, dusty world, a barren landscape that seems inhospitable to life as we know it. But Mars wasn't always this way. In its ancient past, it might have been a very different place. It holds secrets, whispers of a past that might surprise you. Secrets that scientists are only beginning to uncover. A past that might have even looked a lot like Earth, with flowing rivers, vast lakes, and perhaps even oceans. Our fascination with Mars goes back centuries. From the earliest astronomers to modern-day scientists, Mars has always been a source of intrigue. Ancient civilizations tracked its movements across the night sky, noting its unique red color and erratic path. They wove stories about its blood-red hue, often linking it to war or chaos, seeing it as an omen of things to come. Little did they know how apt those associations would be. Mars, with its violent dust storms and extreme weather, truly embodies chaos. Because Mars, as we're learning, is a planet of extremes. From its freezing temperatures to its scorching days, it is a world of contrasts. Towering volcanoes dwarf Mount Everest, standing as silent sentinels to a tumultuous past. Canyons scar its surface, deeper than any on our planet, hinting at the powerful forces that shape this world. And the evidence is mounting that water, the elixir of life, once flowed freely across Martian soil, carving out valleys and perhaps even supporting life. Join me as we embark on a journey through time, exploring the rich history and tantalizing mysteries of Mars. Let's uncover the secrets of Mars, a planet that continues to beckon us with its mysteries, urging us to explore and understand its enigmatic past. Imagine the early solar system, a vast expanse of space filled with potential, a chaotic swirl of dust and gas, remnants of a star that exploded long ago, creating a cosmic nursery. In this cosmic ballet, gravity was the conductor, orchestrating the dance of particles. It pulled together clumps of matter, spinning them faster and faster, forming the building blocks of planets. This is how Mars was born, about 4.6 billion years ago, emerging from the chaos as a new world. A smaller, cooler sibling to Earth, it formed in the habitable zone, the sweet spot around the sun where temperatures are just right for liquid water, a crucial ingredient for life. But Mars's story took a different turn, diverging from its neighboring planets. It lacked the size and gravitational pull to hold onto a thick atmosphere, which is vital for sustaining life as we know it. Its protective magnetic field, essential for deflecting harmful radiation, weakened over time, leaving the planet vulnerable. The result? A planet stripped bare, its surface exposed to the harsh realities of space, a stark contrast to its early promise. But even in this seemingly barren landscape, the seeds of a fascinating history were sown, hinting at a past that scientists are eager to uncover. Today, rovers traverse its surface, uncovering secrets buried in the red soil, revealing clues about its ancient rivers and lakes. Mars continues to captivate our imagination, holding the potential for future exploration and perhaps even colonization as we seek to understand our place in the universe. One of the most striking features of Mars is its strange split personality. The northern hemisphere is smooth and low-lying like a giant basin carved by some ancient force. The southern hemisphere, in stark contrast, is rugged and heavily cratered, a testament to a violent past. This dramatic dichotomy, known as the Martian dichotomy, has puzzled scientists for decades. The leading theory suggests a colossal impact early in Mars's history. Imagine an asteroid, the size of our moon, slamming into the young planet. This catastrophic event could have ripped away a portion of Mars' crust, leaving behind the basin we see today. It's a sobering reminder of the power of impacts in shaping planets, a fate Earth itself has not been immune to. Mars is a planet of geological wonders. Towering above the plains is Olympus Mons, the largest volcano in our solar system. Three times taller than Mount Everest, it speaks to the immense power that once raged within Mars. Then there's Valles Marineris, a canyon system so grand it dwarfs the Grand Canyon on Earth. Stretching for thousands of miles, it hints at tectonic forces that ripped apart the Martian crust, shaping its landscape for eons. These features tell a story of a planet that was once geologically active, perhaps even volcanic. Could this activity have provided the heat necessary for liquid water to exist on the surface? The answer, my friends, might lie buried beneath the red dust. Section 5. Was there ever life on Mars? The search for water has been a central focus of our exploration efforts. 
The question that drives us, that keeps us exploring, is simple yet profound. Was there ever life on Mars? This question has intrigued scientists and dreamers alike for generations. To answer that, we look for the one ingredient essential to life as we know it, water. Water is the key to understanding the potential for life, and the evidence is tantalizing. Over the years, we've gathered clues that suggest Mars was once a very different place. Dried up riverbeds snake across the Martian surface like scars from a bygone era. These ancient channels hint at a time when water flowed freely. Minerals, formed only in the presence of water, have been detected by orbiting spacecraft. These minerals tell a story of a wetter past, and some scientists believe vast reserves of ice might lie hidden beneath the polar caps. This ice could be a remnant of ancient oceans or lakes. If liquid water did exist on Mars, even for a brief period, could life have arisen? The possibility is both exciting and daunting. Could there be microscopic organisms hidden deep underground waiting to be discovered? These tiny life forms could hold the secrets to Mars past. These are the questions that fuel our curiosity and drive us to explore further. The search for life on Mars is a journey of discovery, one that continues to captivate our imagination. Section six, close encounters of the Martian kind, early missions. Our fascination with Mars isn't just theoretical. We've sent emissaries, robotic explorers to unravel its secrets. It began in the 1960s, a time of intense rivalry between the United States and the Soviet Union. Both nations launched a series of probes vying for the first close-up glimpse of the red planet. There were failures, of course, setbacks that remind us of the audacity of space exploration. But there were also triumphs. Mariner 4 in 1965 beamed back the first close-up images of Mars, revealing a cratered, seemingly lifeless world. It was a sobering moment, but it didn't dampen our enthusiasm. The journey had just begun. Section 7, Rovers and Robots, Exploring Mars on the Ground. The next chapter in Martian exploration involved getting up close and personal. In 1976, the Viking landers touched down on the surface, becoming our eyes and ears on this alien world. They analyzed soil samples, searched for signs of life, and sent back breathtaking panoramic images. Then came the rovers, sojourner, spirit, opportunity, curiosity, and perseverance. These robotic explorers have trundled across the Martian surface, covering vast distances and sending back a treasure trove of data. They found evidence of ancient lakes, analyzed the composition of rocks, and even discovered organic molecules, the building blocks of life. Each mission has brought us closer to understanding the true nature of Mars. Section 8, the future of Mars exploration. What's next? The future of Mars exploration is filled with ambitious plans. We're talking about sending humans to Mars, boots on the ground, perhaps within our lifetime. Imagine the scientific discoveries, the sense of adventure, the sheer audacity of it all. But it won't be easy. We need to develop new technologies, overcome the challenges of radiation and long duration spaceflight, and ensure the safety of our astronauts. Yet the rewards are too great to ignore. A human mission to Mars would be a defining moment for humanity, a testament to our ingenuity and our unquenchable thirst for knowledge. It would herald a new era of exploration, pushing the boundaries of what's possible and inspiring generations to come. Section nine, Mars and our imagination, from science fiction to reality. Mars has captivated our imaginations for centuries. Long before we sent probes, it was a staple of science fiction, a canvas for our hopes and fears about life beyond Earth. From H.G. Wells' War of the Worlds to the Martian Chronicles by Ray Bradbury, we've imagined Martian civilizations, alien landscapes, and epic battles for survival. These stories, while fictional, have shaped our perception of Mars, fueling our desire to explore this enigmatic world. And now, science is catching up with fiction. We're sending rovers, planning human missions, and uncovering secrets that make the line between science and science fiction increasingly blurry. Section 10, keep looking up. The red planet awaits. So as we gaze up at the red planet, let's remember that Mars is more than just a celestial body. It's a time capsule, a laboratory, a mirror reflecting our own planet's past, and perhaps even its future. It's a source of endless fascination, a reminder that there's still so much out there to explore. Keep asking questions, keep searching for answers, and keep looking up. The Red Planet awaits.